Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about select and select record tools in Alteryx. So this is at here Alteryx designer and uh, here the first uh, I am going to drag uh, input to uh, data into workflow and uh, let's take the data source so going to use Oracle and here going to use HR and inside HR departments table is there so let's uh, select uh, and uh, here let's uh, uh, click on this and uh, again going to use because I didn't select it double click on the department and here you can see the department it's come there you need to uh, use this uh, asterisk so by using asterisk so it will uh, select all the columns now click on ok so here now the source part that has done here after let's go to preparation and here you can see select tool so by using select tool you can s or select or deselect or, or rename fields change the field type size assign the direction so this is the use now let's track uh, inside the workflow and uh, there are no any fields uh, selected now if you uh, stabilize the link and here you can see our uh, total numbers of uh, uh, columns incoming columns are four it's uh, displaying and there one added columns unknown okay so now here after let's uh, use at here report tool and here report text now drag the link and after doing the dragging now run the workflow so if you run the workflow so since uh, in uh, select uh, tools uh, I selected all the columns so all the columns that load into the uh, target or destination now hereafter if you want to display some particular column like if you don't want manager id location id so you can uncheck here so if you uncheck now if you run the workflow so manager id and location id it will not display on the or uh, this uh, uh, text uh, document so here since I select uh, uncheck this option now here after if you want to uh, move this downward you can easily do that now run so here you can see uh, uh, here you can see department name that come first department ID is the last so this is the uh, option are available for select and deselect and uh, there is uh, one uh, extra columns it's correct created uh, but uh, it's not displaying at this places and here after the next is here the size uh, student set here you can not uh, this option is uh, not suitable now here you can if you check this option so here uh, this is the department id and the size is given if you want then you can rename so let's uh, give a department name d uh, only name now here after if you want then uh, description you can add so this is only add here for or uh, detailed uh, only for understanding purpose now here after let's run the work uh, workflow and uh, uh, here let's uh, select this part here you can see uh, this uh, column name that changed so by using uh, select uh, tool we can select or deselect the uh, or some columns now here after let's uh, see about to uh, here or uh, select all and here first uh, let's uh, take the data source oracle again going to take and uh, here again the same or uh, table going to use let's uh, take uh, department and uh, double click on it a star so that will select all here after going for preparation and here I'll select the records now if you click uh, this option here you get this that select a specified record range record including discontinuous range useful troubleshooting and is sampling and uh, here uh, by using select uh, all so here this is the inter numeric field records and for return so you can give this kind of values now here uh, let's uh, use uh, drag uh, this report inside there and uh, now so here let's uh, see the record first uh, so here now let's run the workflow for workflow and here you can uh, see this uh, incoming values so this is the incoming 27 rows are there 
down here so uh, range uh, you can give for uh, whatever you like if uh, I give uh, add here this value is now 25 so on the 25 the value is uh, 250 retail sales and 1700 now if I run this one here so here you can see this part that display 250 retail sales uh, 1700 and this all those things so like this so uh, you can uh, select some uh, display some particular or uh, rows value at this places so here if i select uh, this part if you if i want to display third row so you need to give only three so this places you need to give three and uh, run the workflow so here you can see on uh, third what the exact value is so in third the value is 30 processing uh, 114 this all values so 30 processing 104 this value so display okay so if you want to display some particular or uh, rows so by using a uh, select or uh, records tool you can easily do that so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you